Okay, so we are recording. We're recording. For YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that on? <laughs> That's on now. Hi. How are you? Okay, so I'm gonna get in. I think Riley, be careful about. First, let me show you how to open the can. See the see the uh, pin right here. Yeah. The hook? What we do is we are just pulling back. It's not like there's a spring or there's a spring, but you basically want to just lift the weight. So you pull back. It's not too far, uh -huh. and that'll release this hook from underneath, and then you can just lift it. You don't want to lift it with the window. You want to lift it with the handle or the metal. Okay. You're gonna leave that open. Put your just put your hand up to hold that so it doesn't slam shut. Okay? Yeah. Am I good to go? Hold on to that canopy. You hold can't it up. Close it yet. Okay. Holding it up. So, Riley, you haven't been in a small plane huh? before. Have I ever been in a small plane? What? It's okay there. I mean, if someone lands way in the middle, you got to tow it back. But if the gliders are here, there's no reason to move it. I've been in a helicopter. See you on the other side. But never a small plane. Let me go to 3,000 feet. I'm going to close my canopy. And then you have to close yours afterwards, and Brian's going to help you with the camera. Be, so look, you don't have to force it. Just look at the pin in the front, okay. and look at the hook. You have to open. You have to open. The, use the handle, right? Pull that handle back. It's not. You shouldn't have to force it. Now push it forward. There you go. Okay, that's locked. Okay. Canopy's closed. Canopy and airbrakes closed and lock. Ready to go. Here we go. So we're going to bounce along the ground here for a second, and then we're going to lift off. See, we're already lifting off there. We're flying. So you remember what I said about your hand in the window? You can get a little air if you need it. We're up 100 feet now. We're looking for 200 feet. That's our. Uh, there we go. We're 200 feet. So I'm listening to the radio to hear what other pilots are doing around the airport. And uh, we're going to climb. We're going to do a left hand turn in just a minute kind of do a, a circle around the airport until we get high enough that we can begin to venture farther away. If at any time you're uncomfortable, please let me know. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. We're turning now to the east and north. We were headed east, now we're going northeast. Off in the distance is downtown Miami. Um, Riley, you ever do any water skiing? No, I have not. Okay, well, when you water ski, you get behind the boat, and the, the, the calmest place behind the boat is right behind them, where there's no waves. You're kind of like in the middle of the wave. Uh -huh. That's what we're doing here. We're holding on to the ski rope back behind the airplane, where there's no uh, turbulence off the tips of the wings or off the propeller. If you do see any other aircraft at our altitude, we're not, we're not talking jet liners up at 35,000 feet. Yeah. Uh, and this is an airport behind us, so there are planes coming in and out. But if you see someone that's just about at our level, please let me know. Okay, so your your part of your job is to enjoy the view and to watch for other aircraft. Okay. I do recommend that you spend a lot of time looking outside rather than focusing inward. We have, I have some people that want to just like just shoot video and then they get their video and it's just not the same as seeing it with your eyes. So. I think I'm going to take like one or two pictures. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it. definitely do it. And if you want to do video, you do you can do it out of the window. Remember, keep the, the phone horizontal and do it out of the window. You won't have the distortion. We're going to do a lot of turning after we get off tow, so you'll have views in all directions. And also, you'll have video that I'm going to make from the camera in the front of you. Yeah. You can like wave and say hello to your family. Oh, okay. Say Hi, Mom. Hi, Alvin. Okay. So we'll use that. And there's also a camera behind us that has a view from outside the glider. It says how fast we're going and, uh, and our altitude. 
So, Riley, it's a little bit bumpy. That's good because that means there's rising air. So what we're going to do when we get to 3,000 feet, and we're coming up on 2,000 right now, yep. is that we are going to do, I'm going to pull the release. It's going to go thunk, thunk. The release is the yellow handle. It's going to open up and let go of the rope, allow the rope to be pulled away by the airplane. And then we're going to do a very steep climbing right turn. It's kind of be a little bit like a bump on a roller coaster. Okay, so you may get a little bit of zero Gs there for a minute and then a little bit of positive Gs. I hope, do you like roller coasters or no? Not so much? They're just kind of roller coasters. Yeah, okay, so we do that. That's the big thing that we do usually right off uh, toe. And then the rest of the flight is actually a little calmer than this. I'm going to do that. Now, you see the horizon. It's really where the sky meets the water, the sky meets the land. It's not the edge of the water hitting the land. It's way off there in the Over distance. There. So basically, this is pretty much level flight. So you're seeing about half sky and about half ground. So if I ask you to fly, and I am probably going to ask you to fly right after we get off tow, meaning I, I don't let you fly when we're low because I have to maintain the position yeah. very careful. But I'll let you try the stick for, for a bit just to see what it feels like. And uh, so the main thing is to keep the wings level. See, wings are level now, equal with the horizon, not not banking left or not banking yeah. right. So it's little pressures left and right, uh -huh. and then a little pressure forward and backward. So it's like balancing a ping pong ball on a ping pong paddle to try and keep everything level. And it's not as hard as it sounds. It just takes practice. So we're up to 2,800, 2,850 now. And, uh, uh, we're going to get ready to release in just a minute. I'm going to do a little up and a little down. That's not the release. That's just getting ready for the release. And then the release, will, you'll hear the thumps, and it'll be the big right turn. Okay, so I'm going up, and I'm going down. There's the thumps, and here's the big right turn. Okay. So, first thing we do is find the airport. It's off to the left. It's right at the edge of the Everglades. So, you doing all right? Yeah, this is so cool. It is. It really is. I'm glad you got the chance to come and do this. Spencer and Denali and Joshua. Well, I don't know if Joshua's done it, but Spencer and Denali have done it a lot. So. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna turn back upwind now, real quick, and I'm gonna give you the controls. And what I want you to do, I w it's important that we know who's actually controlling the glider. Yeah. When I tell you you have the glider. That means that you are actually going to be flying. I'll be right near the controls and able to take over. There's really nothing you can do that I can't recover from as long as you let go of the controls when I say that I want it back. So I'm going to, it's trimmed up. I have the wings level. The nose is just about right. Actually, it's a little high, so I'm going to lower it a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let you take the controls. So, Riley, you have the controls. You have it acknowledged by saying you have the control. I have the control. You have the control. So let's not let it bank to the left. Let's push a little to the right. It always wants that, to turn to the left. Push to the right harder. Push to the right harder. So your idea is to keep it going in the same direction all the time. Okay? And that's good. There you go. Lower the nose a bit. A little more. A little more. A little more. Right about there. Yeah, just let's wait for it here. A little lower even, actually, right there. Okay. Very good. And you can... You're doing good. You're doing good. No, this is a good heading. So just don't let it bank, because the more it banks, the harder it is to get it straight again. So the idea is to keep the nose level, and... It's hard to keep it, like, going... Right, I know. And that's some of that has to do with the rudders, which I'm not explaining to you. But I'll let you do this a little bit, and then I'll take it back. So you can feel that it's a lot of fun. It's like almost like being a bird. You move in three dimensions and kind of see what's going on. So I have it now. I have it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look for a cloud. If you see any birds, black birds circling, we want to join up with them. So what I'm going to head do, do, do is I'm going to look for a cloud that may have some lift here. So I see a couple, actually that cloud right over near the uh, airport looks good. You doing all right? Yeah. All right. So that's the Everglades in front of us. I guess you drove across that. Or did yeah, you come we down came the turnpike? This way. Like we right, kind of past all these farms. We weren't going through like no like bad. 
because that looks like it's just land. And we were going through a bunch of farms, so I think it was like right here or over there. So you may have been on 27 then, I'm not sure. Yeah. You know what road you took? No, I wasn't driving. Okay. So I was just taking it in. So, but the Everglades is ahead of us. Uh -huh. It's basically not much soil because all the soil gets washed away and there's like this thin of grass over the rock. Um, and and um, the water, at least in the summer, continuously flows. It's like a 40 mile wide, three inch, four inch deep river. And so that's what's ahead of us. feeling and we like let go of the the toe and you turn that was probably one of the coolest things I've ever felt. <laughs> okay good. So I'm feeling a little bit of lift here. If you look at that instrument on the right, you see it's uh, with the up and down arrow that we're actually going up right now, uh -huh. or, or we're not sinking anymore. Yeah. And that's a good sign. So I'm hoping there'll be some more lift over here. But those little bumps that you feel where we rock back and forth, that's, that is lift. Which is rising moist air. Yet when you cook spaghetti, and you see they have the little bubbles in the bottom of the pot, and they eventually break free from the bottom and bubble up, that's what's happening to the air that's in contact with the surface. It is, uh, it is uh, getting warmed, and it gets warm enough, and it finally breaks free and forms a bubble. And. This is more sink here, so we're going to go further west. So we can, uh, we had someone fly up to uh, Central Florida from here in a glider, and out west. All the way. Yep, all the way. It took six hours, but out west they fly a thousand miles sometimes, along using combination of mountain wave and thermal. See the glider up high? Look way, way up there. That's another glider that launched early today, probably about 11 o'clock. And he's been going this whole time? And he's been up, yeah, he'll probably be up for four hours. Wow. Using the... Uh, so we feel some bumps there. That's, that is some rising air. So we're in some rising air. Look at that needle. Oh, we're in some good rising air. So I'm going to do some turns now, Riley. If you're right. uncomfortable, you let me know. But this is, we're going to go up. Right now we're at 1,800. Let's see how high we can climb in this thermal. Uh, 200 feet. See the instrument on the left is the altimeter. You doing all right? Okay. There's a bird off to the right. Look to the right. See it? Right there. Right. Yeah. So we fly together. I call them my brothers. You know, Brian is my brother, but these guys are also my brothers. Where are we? We fly, and there's a two or three below us. Now there is a lot of turning involved, so you got to tell me right away if you're not comfortable. Okay. There they are. I see one, two. You have a better view out the right than I do because yeah. I have the wings. So. You okay? Yeah, I'm trying to get a picture of the birds. Okay, we'll try, we'll try. They don't, they're not going to hang around and pose, though. Yeah. But we'll, we'll be flying with them for a bit here. Yeah, we're almost at 4,000 now. We're, yeah, we've gained uh, 800, 900 feet. I 
So I have a YouTube channel, Riley, and I'll put you put your video on that if you want. If, even if you don't want, I'll probably put it on it. <laughs> so you don't have to store it or yeah. put it on Dropbox or anything. It's just, oh, cool. you know, that's what I do when I give, I, you know, about half the rides I do, I, I put them on, on YouTube. If the camera batteries don't die and I actually get decent video, you then I put it on. really climbed just in this little... Yeah, we're now, we've gained uh, a thousand feet. So we're almost back up to where the altitude we released, which was 3,000 feet. So now, you've got to fly with the birds. We saw those birds, right? Mm -hmm. That wasn't just a hallucination. They're real. <laughs> and we, um, now you, I hope you believe that you can fly without an engine. Yeah, I didn't know how long this like, flight would be able to last without having one, but so yeah, we're you just have to know where to go. Like we can go, as the higher we get, the farther we can go. The wind is actually about 14 knots, so we don't like to go too far downwind because then we have to trade our altitude for, for forward motion. It's kind of like skiing. You know, we're always really going downhill, um, but we're in air that's rising faster than what the rate that we're going down. So we're back up to three, above 3,000 now. So this is the altitude that we got off the toe. To uh, and I'm gonna actually give it back to you in a minute, let you fly some more when you now that we've got our altitude back, but not quite yet. So, yeah, we, we're out climbing those birds, I see them there down below. You doing all right? Yep, okay. Here, take it up almost to cloud base, and then I'll give it back to you. It gets cooler as you go higher, yeah, it's, too. It definitely four cooled de down. Four degrees per thousand feet, or two degrees Celsius per thousand feet centigrade, or whatever you call it. Oh, look at them all! Look at all those birds over there. There's like four of them. Here we go. Let's go buzz them here. see some skydivers, you never know, but we'll try and stay away from them. Yeah, it's probably going to do. And there's a place not far from Tampa called Zephyr Hills. That, they have a soaring, they do soaring over there. It's the Tampa Bay Soaring Society. So I see it like a, a, a row of clouds here that's forming. We call it a cloud street. Okay, so I'm going to turn it. See the roads leading out to the water, yeah. Riley? That's eastbound. I'm going to level the wings and give it back to you here. And uh, you have the controls, all right? You ready? Yep. You got the controls. You're flying. Lower the nose a bit. Here we go. And you're flying. So I like have some fun. I don't like that. Just don't let the wings go bank too far. How okay, do so I keep it from Just push that? the opposite direction of the turn. So if it's going left, Banking left, you want to push too hard to the, not hard, but firm pressure to the right. So you stop the turn, don't raise the nose, keep the nose level on the horizon. So as you're turning, you want to keep the nose consistently level. And you want to, I want you to turn back to the right towards the water. So press right and wait for it. It'll, it'll turn, just wait for it, okay? And now begin to neutralize the pressure so that it stops the turn. Lower the nose a bit, that's good, and push to the right so it doesn't turn back to the left. So push a little harder to the right. This is hard. It's, it takes practice, you know, it yeah. takes practice. So you're doing good, there you go, you're just getting the hang of it. Okay, I've got it. Okay. 
I've got it. So well, I'm going to accelerate now. Right. And we're going to head back so that we can get everybody a, a, a turn. So we've been going kind of slow. We're going to go a little faster now. Looks like traffic got a glider descending out of 2,700. Just a uh, half mile north of what's taken on East Coast Glider with the landing on Lake 9 Trump at Olmstead. So it's a little bit like a jet plane, right? So we can we can do things like steep turns like this. Alright? It's fully controllable, and when you have a lot of altitude, you can have a lot of fun. You okay? Yeah. Alright. It's just so, it's an odd thing you don't have to work on that. Yeah, it's not like you have to work on that. So you're going to see the ground coming up at us. 
that's normal. It's not like an airline experience. Okay. See the blue stripe in the middle? That's the center line of the runway. And so we're it's in a cloud shadow, but we're going to land. Try and land pretty short there, not very far down the runway. And she, hopefully it'll be a nice soft land. This is a nice soft grass runway. You enjoy that. that was awesome. So I hope you with your seatbelt if you need it, but what I really want you to do is open the canopy by pulling back on the white handle and just once it's up there you go, you got it. Now yeah, you have a tug on it hard. Let go right there. Okay. That's not something you get to do often. So no, no. Well, actually, I do it every week. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a great job. I love it. So good luck at school, and thank you for bringing uh, Denali down. And uh... thank you for like honest, thank you for playing that. Okay. Man, hopefully that and the and the Thanksgiving dinner made the trip worthwhile. Yeah.